show you guys what it's like being Morgan. A woman in STEM, a black woman in STEM, an economics major, day in my life. Everything is nice. welcome back to my channel and in today's video as you can already tell it's gonna be a day in my life so I thought it was only right to give you guys a day in my life of my fall semester before it ends and this week is kind of legitimately the last like real week of school so I was just like I have to do it this week and yeah so today is Tuesday and I'm just gonna be showing you guys a Tuesday in my life um, Tuesdays tend to be like my busiest days because those are the days when I have most of my classes. I was supposed to have a class this morning at 9.25 which at the start of the semester the class was um, in person but then he moved it virtual just you know to end it off. So I didn't have that class at 9.25 however I have class at 10.50 and that's in person that's my macroeconomics class. This morning I was supposed to have culture and society which is pretty much like a sociology class so I'm ready and I'm about to head out because it's like 10 40 now and it's gonna take me a little bit more than 10 minutes to walk to class so yeah, of course I'm gonna be putting my jacket on because it's 50 something degrees outside but I'm wearing a dress today because you know it's not that cold today actually it's gonna get hotter and 50 something degrees I can wear a dress so yeah I'll see you guys in my 10 50 class So my class is over and my friends are getting COVID tested but I'm gonna wait till tomorrow and um, we're gonna go to the store to get stuff for dinner later so I'm gonna go with them but I'm ca I am kind of have a tight schedule today so but like every Tuesday when I go to the store with my friends I end up missing class in some way because like we go on the road and we get all over the world so i'm not sure if i'm really gonna go so i'm at the cafe i'm gonna have lunch which is nothing much to be honest for lunch today, I'm eating fries and a hot dog with some ginger ale. So I asked him to put cheese on the hot dog. He didn't melt it like the other man did, but that's okay. And the fries. I am back to my dorm room. Um, I the hot dog was so terrible like the last time i made i got it in the cafe the guy who made it for me he actually put 
the cheese on the hot dog on the grill so the cheese melted and then he toasted my bun but this person just put a cold cheese on it the tough bun like it just was not busting so i literally just had like some fries the fries weren't that good today either and some ginger ale but anyways i went to the meal room i got some packages so these are my sheen stuff i spent maybe like 200 and something dollars on sheen because these are clothes that i want to take back to jamaica and i also got this package today but honestly i don't know what that is like I have no clue, but I feel like it's something that mom is saying. These three packages over here, I just have them here because I was making a TikTok. But I haven't opened these two, but I think these two are mommies. This down here is a jacket that I got um, from Nordstrom. However, I made an order on Nordstrom because I needed some winter gear. So, mommy went on Nordstrom, splurged on her daughter, everything. I found this really cute jacket on Nordstrom. It was a leather jacket. It was a Levi's leather jacket. It was like puffer and it had this clinched waist. It was super cute and I was like so excited for the jacket. I planned out outfits, especially machine stuff. I was like ready and literally when the jacket came guys, like that was not the jacket. Like it was giving what I ordered versus what I got. So I figured more than likely they accidentally sent the wrong thing either that or they were trying to trick me i don't know because on the like the plastic wrapper that the jacket came in it had the right description but it was just the wrong jacket so i'm gonna send that back so my next class is at 140 that's virtual accounting well the class is virtual but it's my accounting class um so i'm gonna try these sheen clothes on soon it's a lot and this would have been like a really really good haul but um, if i'm gonna do this haul i think i'll do it when i go back to jamaica not here because i really just don't have the time to do a haul right now it did this at this end of the semester so yeah if i do a haul with these sheen clothes when i go back home um some of the stuff in there are winter stuff for here though but that's besides the point yeah, so I have accounting at 140. It's now 113. Then during my accounting class, I'm gonna um do some homework that I have due for my critical thinking classes at 305. And then at four, I have a Zoom information session. There's this cool internship opportunity, and they're having an information session today. So I'm gonna go and check it out. It starts at four. My critical thinking class ends at 420 so um i don't think they have to see my face or anything so i'm just going to join while i'm in class on my phone and just listen to what's going on but yeah that's pretty much what it is i have a whole like schedule here because like when i do my youtube videos i really like to plan like exactly what i'm supposed to be doing the cart, I had to, the, because the package is heavy, I had to get the hand cart from the mail room. So I have to take it back, but I'm going to just take it back when I'm going to class. Also, I'm just going to get, I'm going to get a smoothie too, because I am actually hungry. So I'll see y'all soon. It is what total liability plus total assets. You know, total liability, I find in the balance sheet station, which is a cost minus, minus the salvage value divided by useful. So, no. Hmm? Can you repeat the question, please? Okay, the question is, let's say you have tennis courts. You own tennis court, okay? You close to a score. It is going to have impact on your net income. Yes. Okay, it's going to decrease, is it? Yes. So because what? You discontinue of your store operation but when we have this continued operation actually it has impact in your net income right yes it does so this is my accounting class to be honest i hate online classes because i am not like the best with focusing i took my wig off because yeah yes i see what was that you see the income loss from this continued operation? Yes, 300. Okay, 300. Okay, let's... Would it be, um... 
Wait, no, I don't know. Yeah. So I don't really like online class because um, I don't really focus that well. Like it's just I'm just joining because yeah. So now I'm gonna put I'm gonna do the homework that I have due for my three or five class. Two o'clock now, so I'm gonna do it. And then by 2.30, I'm actually gonna leave because I have to bring back the cart and I wanna stop and get me a smoothie so that probably takes a little time and go to class, so. So this is my logic textbook, Socratic logic. If you've ever done a logic or like a critical thinking class, let me know in the comment section because this class is so difficult for me personally like it's a class where if you don't understand like the first module or like the first two model modules you are going to struggle because like everything from the from the beginning is like related to like everything in the end but i still maintained an a in the class so period So I finished my critical thinking homework. It wasn't anything that was too difficult. So it's 2.20 now. So as I said, I was hungry. So I'm just gonna like put my wig back on and leave now and go and get something to eat. Bring back the cart that um, the mailroom let me and then just go to class. This is my lunch today, so some sweet chili wings, fries, and um, a mango pina colada smoothie. I ordered six pieces of wings, and I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think he made a mistake, but it gone bad, so... So I'm currently on a Teams meeting for the internship that I told you guys about. I didn't remember it was Teams, so I don't have Teams on my computer. But I'm on it on my phone while I get Teams. Going into this portion is you know heavily benefit me in understanding my degree more so if anything this would be the um, the field that i would dive into so i just finished the internship information session i need to complete my application and send it in because i really want to get the internship it's next year summer and i really really want to get it i am so excited I'm on the phone. we know that you're on the phone <laughs> jesus <laughs> so yeah as i was saying I really want to get an internship, so fingers crossed, y'all pray for me that, you know, everything works out and I get this opportunity because it really seems like a great one and it has, that this opportunity has a lot of opportunities wrapped up in it. So yeah, fingers crossed. So we, she can make a bag. It's not only about the bag, boom, but you know. Yeah, so now I'm gonna try and machine clothes and then I'm gonna get ready to go to an information session at 6 p.m. So, guys, I am ready. As I said, I was going to um, another informational session, I think, for women of CAU. 
I really think that would be a great organization to join. So I'm going to the information session. It's uh, business attire. So I just have this top on with, you know, these dress pants. And I'm going to put my ballet flat shoes on. Yeah. So it's so it starts at six. It's five forty three and it's like all the way on the other side of campus. So I'm gonna get going right now to be honest. So I'll see you guys there. I okay. Of course so hey guys i am back from the event it was so great and i'm literally so excited to become a woman of sea i'm so excited to join join the org and also like i have been really having like a desire to kind of get involved since I've been on campus. So I'm really happy for the opportunity to get involved and just like, you know, coming out my comfort zone and doing things because it might be like kind of um hard to understand, but I feel like since I've been here, I've been a bit shy and I feel like I have a lot of, like I already struggled with anxiety prior but i feel like being here as like in settings where i have to speak sometimes or just in large groups i really realize that i'm having a bit of anxiety and i think why that is is because of like a barrier in a sense like of course i can speak english like that is my native language that's my first language but it's like i am talking english to you people right now on my channel but it's like when i get out and i'm speaking english it's like the americans don't understand so i feel like that has really made me like really um hesitant to talk sometimes and just hesitant to like really be myself because it's just like i have to be talking in my twang my best american accent and i really hate it and i think it's really a hindrance but to be honest i am just going to start talking like this and if you understand you understand but yeah about the org it's just pretty much an organization for women that deals with you know growth um transformation change just really making you the best woman that you can be and i think that's really really cool so i'm a part i'm you know going to be a part of it so today was a pretty long day like i had the internship thing to do had this i had classes and then i still have work i have dinner with my friends in maybe like an hour it's 801 now so maybe around 8 30 they'll be ready or something like that we have dinner really late but yeah taco tuesday and then i'm gonna take a shower clean my room up and i have some work to do this is my like planner so i just like write down everything that i have to do this week and yes last night i was really tired so like I didn't do some of the stuff from yesterday. So I'm just going to take you guys through the rest of the night and show you guys what it's like being Morgan. A woman in STEM, a black woman in STEM, an economics major day in my life. So let's get ready for the night and all of that. As I was telling you guys that I'd be going over to my friend's dorm because we're having dinner together so she made tacos just regular homemade beef tacos they were okay i did stay at and chat a little with them but i'm back at home now because it is 10 20 and i have a lot of stuff to get done before the night just to like wrap up my day and feel productive what i'm gonna do right now though is a virtual consultation with my orthodontist because you know of course she hasn't seen me in months and i just have a lot of concerns and i just really want to know the progress of my teeth yeah so pretty much what the virtual consultation is 
I am just sending her pictures that basically match this picture right here. So this is where I'd upload my picture. So I'm supposed to take like a few pictures, like you know, right side, left side, right side, the front, upper and lower teeth, and then I submit the request for the consultation and then she like you know get back to me so this is what i'm gonna do because she's been on my ass to get it done so i'm gonna do this quickly right now and then i'm gonna go into like school stuff i really should have shown you guys my virtual consult picture well not all of them because y'all don't need to be seen all up in my mouth but i just submitted it. but i'm gonna show y'all two pictures though that did not come out so bad when i like on my teeth look this is my bottom row so this is what i sent and then this is what i sent as my top row i'm not showing you the guys the others but yeah that's pretty much what i did i really did my best it was hard taking those pics like look how look how many pics i have in here of me just trying to like get my teeth so yeah so I probably should be hearing from her like tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to that. So we use this really cool thing called Pitch Vantage. So what it is, it's like a way how to like practice your presentations and stuff. So let's say you set your time for say three minutes and then you say you don't want to add slides because I don't usually add slides to my presentations. It's not necessary. And then you can choose like, you know, who you want to be talking to so a large room a boardroom so I'm just gonna pick like a boardroom and the type of presentation choosing the type of presentation will tell you like how your grade is so based on like informative presentations they know like how you're supposed to be talking like your pitch and all of that so it's important to pick like you know the type so I'm gonna just leave it informative and then audience type technical or general technical is about an audience that has like a certain background so it's gonna be a speech about like finance technology IT and then a general audience is like sales marketing HR customer service just like pretty regular then you click next and then you begin I'm just gonna do a quick one to show you guys so my camera goes on and then it counts you down and then this is your room and then you start so I stopped quickly because, you know, I didn't want it to go through. But it would calculate your results after and then, like, tell you. I'm going to see if I can find, like, a result to show you. See, say my speech is too short, whatever. But um, performance. All right. So, like, I've done eight sessions. And this was my highest score that I've received. So, like, it shows you these things that you're strong in. And it grades you and then it shows you the things that you need to improve on so for this class our teacher lets us do these presentations and then when we present on this thing um, pretty much it just helps us with our presentations and it also um, the the thing is all about you know learn um, it trying to get a better score each time and that's what we pretty much like talk about in our discussion posts and whatever pretty much the work that he gives us in this class is like do a presentation on your field of study do a presentation on where you want to work do a presentation on why you chose your field of study so it's pretty much really simple stuff I'm gonna read something that I did prepare for this class honestly what I'm what I'm gonna read it's really a lie like I just be lying in this class because these are not my goals my real goals or anything like that but i just be lying because it's easier to lie because a lot of times when you tell people that you're an economics major and you want to get into law they be looking at you sideways they be looking at you funny because i guess when you say you want to get into law school they are looking for the typical um degrees like political science criminal justice history literature like those type of stuff because it deals with a lot of writing versus like an economics major who you're going to be dealing with like finance and numbers. And this module talks about um, do a presentation on your aspirational resume and how you see yourself after a few years and of works and projects and stuff like that. Honestly, this is a rough draft. I haven't even edited this, but I'm going to share it with y'all. So I have... That graduating college is a major milestone for many persons, especially those like myself who are first-generation college students and graduates. 
life after graduation though may be blurry or uncertain for many and whilst my goals may change as i grow and as the world and workplace evolves within five to ten years i aspire to achieve so many great things personally and professionally and there's also much to discover with an economics degree true that then I have that the finance sector has always been attractive to me, but especially financial advising. Within five years, I would love to have built a strong clientele and really gain and share the knowledge of investing, risk tolerance, and insurance. As an advisor, I hope to be impactful within my community, especially the Black diaspora, in providing sound advice, refinancial planning in order to improve the lives of others and help build their wealth. In addition to that, another goal is to become a leading stock trader for a, fit, a large financial firm and investor. I hope to positively impact the industry and create new market strategies for trading stocks electronically. And then with these experiences, I hope to be well-traveled to learn more about financial industries globally. And all these experiences will prepare me for a later and greater phase of my life after my entry-level jobs. To be honest, I have no interest in getting into the finance sector. Even if I don't go to law school, I really don't want to do finance. Yeah, that's what I've written for that. And this pre the presentations don't have to be long. It's literally simple because you're going to get 100. You're going to get 100. <laughs> minutes until midnight and I just finished um, doing my module 6 so I'm probably gonna get a little start on module 7 just because you know I just like to start something so while I was doing module 6 I was watching a YouTube video I was watching keeping up with Sally yeah you guys should subscribe to her channel she's like one of my favorite youtubers right now i really like her and then i was also like writing down some things that i need to do for Nick this week because i'm a professor for accounting he just like dropped a bag of work on us and he's like do not miss these due dates and so that's like another whole thing to do but right now i've like switched over to business i have decided to like you know work on a video because on my schedule i'm supposed to post the video tomorrow that's really when i when i was aiming to post the video and you know i still have quite um some editing to do this is my chit chat get ready with me video that i'm editing by the time you guys see this um get off by the time you guys um see this day in my life video you guys will um already have seen this video if you haven't though i'll link it for you guys to check it out <music> So I got to the end of editing my video you guys see me waving and saying goodbye the video is 28 minutes long so this is how it looks when my videos are exporting so it just like loads up the whole video and then you'd like see the percentage move
a m like what a day it has honestly been a long ass day i really enjoyed filming this day in my life and getting the chance to show you guys what a tuesday in my life looks like and really what a day in my life might look like there are some days when you know it's pretty chill i am not doing too much and then there are days like today when i feel like i just had too much to do with this event this class you know this video just different things this can be a day in my life there were other things that i probably should have gotten done today to that but i need to get to bed no enjoyed filming this video for you and if you made it thus far thank you so much you are what keeps this channel going and i had to do this video for you guys and i tried to show you guys so much of everything like i wish i could even like kind of show you guys more of like even my classes or whatever but um yeah like thank you thank you guys a whole lot for watching this video and i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know like you know what you want to see what was your favorite little part of this video particular video will be like my final video for this semester in regards to like school thank you again so much for watching and we are clocking out of a day in my life don't leave without subscribing to my channel and give this video a thumbs up for sure so i'll see you guys in the next one